My interest in helping fund research into the horrendous condition of motor neurone disease became much more personal when late last year a dear friend of mine was diagnosed with MND. He's a fit, super smart Australian who had carved an amazing career for himself in business in Japan. He's been attacked by what's known uh, colloquially as the beast. I think most of us not personally involved with MND only became aware of what a dreadful thing it is through the former AFL star and coach Neil Danaher. He was struck down, what I think now, around about 10 years ago with MND. He's an amazing guy, as are his family, and they will not only be back with the celebrity-driven big freeze slide at the MCG on King's birthday Monday, but that fundraiser is now going national. Beck Danaher, Neil's daughter, has done an incredible job along with her amazing father and joins us now. Beck, it's such a bastard of a thing, isn't it? It is, and I wanted to say firstly, I'm so sorry to hear about your friend being diagnosed. Um, we know that it's a beast, and that's the name that Dad termed it a couple of years ago, and it truly is robbing people's ability to walk, to communicate, to talk, and then eventually breathe. Yeah, my friend's gone from, you know, being perfectly fit to struggling in six months. I was skiing with him in January. He can now, you know, struggles to walk. He's got no use of his arms. He's verbally struggling as well. I mean, it is just, it just happens so quickly. It does. Uh, Dad's had it for a lot longer. He's an outlier. The normal time frame is 27 months from diagnosis. So it can be so quick. I, I had a friend who um, unfortunately only lasted six weeks from diagnosis. So I feel very grateful that we've had so long with Dad. We didn't think that that would be the case but just like your friend and and just like so many Australians out there it hits and it hits quickly and it hits hard you and the football public have done an incredible job and how much have you now raised in what has it been nine or ten years yeah so we're coming up to the big freeze 10 which is Absolutely surreal to be in this position and due to the amazing funds and support that we've had from the community, we've been able to invest $97 million into our fight to beat the beast and $85 million of that has gone into critical research trying to find, you know, what is the cause of MND, how do we slow it down so that one day we, we can tame it and cure it. And then we've also invested $12 million into care initiatives, trying to help those that are currently battling the beast and improving the quality of their lives. We know that it continues to attack the body, so we need to make sure that they get as best support as they can. You've got your beanie on there. I, uh, we can't uh, have this chat without... Uh, giving praise to big corporates around Australia. I bought my beanie about a month ago from Liquorland, uh, who are selling the beanies. I've seen them in bottle shops all around the country. And this money, importantly, uh, raised out of selling those beanies, goes into medical research. What are those medical professionals, Beck, telling you ab about where this re research is hopefully going to lead? They're telling us that there's hope. So that is the most critical and important thing that we can do. I know when Dad was diagnosed 10 years ago, he got told to go away, tick off the bucket list. There wasn't much happening for research in the, at the time. And now through the generosity of Australians, we've been able to see 15 clinical trials, which means people living with MND have a way to fight back against the beast. Further to that, 30 drug development programs. And we're also seeing a... I call them a, an army of scientists, army of researchers who are coming to the forefront because it is exciting about what they are able to do. Um, they're, they've got a lot of hope and we're seeing the progress. So I think for us, um, the scientists are hopeful and that makes me hopeful. Um, we're national, obviously, this show. The, uh, the Big Freeze is going national as well. Uh, tell me what that will entail. Yeah, well, we always say that MND doesn't have borders, so neither do we. So we're really excited to, you know, paint this whole nation blue while we can. We're heading across to WA for a game and an activation with the West Coast Eagles on the 1st of June. Then we're heading to South Australia on the 6th of June with the Adelaide Crows game against the Tigers. 
Then we have the Big Freeze Eve with Acid and Colton uh, teams, Big Freeze Day on June 10. Then we're heading out to Queensland that following Friday uh, for a Brisbane Lions game. So that is a lot of AFL, but for us, it's also we're seeing so many community grassroots sports, whatever code, all pulling on their socks, putting these beanies on. And as I said, we're really trying to turn this uh, nation blue. I think the most important thing that shows is that all the people that are in those towns, they've got an, a beautiful community that are backing them in their fight and that they're showing that they care and, and we're all here to try and make a difference. Given the job you've done so far, I'm sure you're going to launch nationally perfectly. Beck Danaher, so give our best regards to Neil and thank you very much for everything you've done. You're a, an absolute star and a champion.